here we have pot marigold, calendula officinalis, and it's resinous and sticky, and it's growing in a really sunny area. other marigolds, these ones from over in India. And what I love about them is they still keep their moisture even in the heat. It's everywhere. Marigolds everywhere. Marigold is a herb of the sun and herbs of the sun raise vitality and mood and soothe the ego and um, this particular herb, calendula, um, is used um, internally and externally. Internally as teas it's used for breasts and lymphatic drainage. Um, uh, um, alcoholic extractions are used for viral infections with 90% alcohol. The resins are extracted which are antiviral. Um, you can make infused oils for external application. You can use um, the tea as um, douches for cervicitis. It's just so beautiful. I love making infused oils with the herb. I like to dry it out first so the oil doesn't rot. And um, so I dehydrate the flowers and they go very, very kind of dark like saffron. And then I infuse them in oil for a couple of weeks or in a bain marie. And I often do double infusions and then I can make pessaries with it or I can make oils with it. A homeopathic remedy called Hypercal for skin injuries is made of it. Oh, it suddenly got very noisy. I'm just walking past some goat's roost. I'm going to do a very, very fast video on it um, just because it's such a nice um, specimen. Here we go. So, for any of you that know um, the shape of plants, this is from the pea family and it's called Delega officinalis. And anything with officinalis in the name, so it's not focusing very well, anything with officinalis in the name. that it was officially used generally in medicine but it could have been as a culinary herb too. It's in the pea family and in very high doses it's toxic because it has alkaloids called galadine and guanidine but in low doses it's used as an anti-diabetic. The bitters in this herb um, are known as glucophages. In fact, the drug metformin, which was originally called glucophage, was um, made from um, the chemical structures of plants in this um, from this plant. And that class of drugs are called biguinides, like metformin and buformin. An overdose of those drugs can make you feel muscular weakness and confusion, a bit like overdose of this plant. And it's also called goat's root. I could do um, a longer video on it, but it's just I'm passing it, so here it is. Goat's root. 